just getting out of the shower. I still got water in my ears. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show, and it is only me this morning. It's not going to be me for very long. We're getting ready to go pick up a very special guest who's going to be joining us today. This individual is out of work right now. We're going to find out exactly why they're out of work, and they also have some very big news to share with us. This is somebody that I know a lot of you are going to be excited to see. It is about 8.20 in the morning. We're getting ready to go pick this individual up right now, and I'm not gonna make this intro super long. I've been seeing people say, Joe, you talk way too much. So let's go get our special guest for today and see what they've been up to. All right, we've arrived. My truck's making all sorts of noises. We're picking up our special guest today, folks. It is this guy. Hey, what's going on, buddy? Chilling, man. Trying to uh, enjoy my morning. You Boy. Got coffee? No, we're going to go get some. We're going to have to figure out a way to get some. i got to get out of the sun. There we go. This guy, he's Take joining us today. Yeah, we had the sun right behind us. Yo, I just got to say one thing, Dave. You are repping super hard for After Prison Show today. You got the hat on. I you can got see the hat on. And I can see, boy, you got the <laughs> Chicago shirt got on. the Chicago shirt on. I like this shirt, actually. Hey, so what's going on, man? What you, what you doing up here at the mall? Um, I was sniffing bicycle seats, but there's no bicycle seats here yet. <laughs> So Dave is currently not working. Major drama in that department. We're gonna we're gonna share that, and also some really good news. We're gonna share that as well today. Oh, yeah. Hey Dave, it's like bright and early on a Monday morning. How's it feel to be rocking with us today? I'm stoked. I'm ready to do this, man. I haven't really came out and spent more than an hour or two, so I'm ready to ready to hang out and do some things, man. Heck yeah, let's go find some bicycle seats. Coffee first. We'll coffee, coffee first. first. And I'll be down. <laughs> Just getting back to the house. We got Dave with us. Special shout out to Dave again for joining us today. The shirt keeps curling up at the bottom, man. Don't feel bad, man. I look like a I look like a retired golfer. <laughs> I ain't never been more comfortable in my life. I want to show you this real quick, Dave. So you know we've been going around like scrapping couches and picking yeah, up trash. Yeah. We're dumpster diving. Dumpster diving. Look, the neighbors know what we're doing. They know. What'd they say? It's not what they said, it's what they did. What'd they do? That right there. You see that? That's right in front of my house, man. Come here and look at this. I saw this when I was leaving the a TV stand? And if you don't think I'm picking that up. Oh, we taking that? Oh, we, we got to have that, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. You got no hands. <laughs> Shoot, you put that in front of my house. You want to? Think we won't sell it. Think I'm not about to scrap metal this. How big of a TV can you get on that? Um, See, we got the arms that come out. They got them bolted down. Do they got them bolted down? Nah, the way this one works. Is... Oh, they got them taped together. There we go. Yeah, she'll slide. You get your 36 to about a 55, maybe. And maybe a 55 on there. Does it adjust? Oh man, if this thing. If this thing lifted, I feel like it might. I think, no, that right there is so you can put like a, um, put like a, a metal clip on the wall and like put a zip tie or something. Oh, zip tie to the wall? That sounds good. No, like, oh, so it doesn't like flip over. And then you put the yeah. zip tie through the clip in this, so when you don't see nothing, but it keeps it there, so it just in case. Man, they wrote that really clean. I mean, fresh, tattoo styles. Yeah, man. Shoot, ain't nothing like our our first dumpster dive on a Monday morning. You know, you gotta wait till all the neighbors go to work, though. Hey, if you've got things that you're trying to get rid of, just leave them in front of my house. I'll pick them up. Make it easier on both of us. We've got the exclusive and the elusive Mr. Gate A. Elusive. I don't know if people should really be calling you that anymore. What, Gate A? Yeah. Why not? I mean, I know it's your nickname and all, but you ain't, uh, you ain't really living that part no more. Maybe while, maybe while we was in prison you was, but not no more. You can't say stuff like that, Joe. Sorry. All right, Cody, make sure we cut that out of this video. You leave it at the door, you're... You know, it was just a hustle. Uh-oh, my phone's going off. I got a lot of things going on, and I want to talk with you, Dave. I'm glad to... Oh, cool. I might have just locked something in. Boy, I might have just locked would, something would in. Would you lock in? I'm, I'm, we'll, get, we'll get to that in a minute. There's more important things to mention, Dave. I told everybody at the beginning of this that... Did you get a haircut? Yeah. 
Whoa, though. Whoa, can we see that joint, though? You got that little, boy, you got that Bobby's World joint. Nah. <laughs> Dave, I told everybody it was a really important day to have you over here because, God bless, the lighting is horrible. You look like you're in the witness protection. Come on over here a little bit. You just got some really awesome news on Friday, and I want you to share that with the world right now, if you want to. Man, they just, uh, they just loosened the rope, man. Oh, they just loosened the rope. What's that mean? It means that I've been, the state of Virginia has had me tied up for a while. They just loosened that rope. They just let me off of um, supervised probation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Yeah, you hurt, bro. I'm a, it's a good feeling too, right? When you walk out and you don't know how to act. The air feels different. Hold know? on, hold on, hold on. You ain't no longer on supervised probation? Nah. And I ain't no longer on supervised probation. We can do whatever the hell we want to do. Hey, you still got that phone number? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That was probably in poor taste right there. Forgive me for that. Dave, super congratulations to you for getting off of probation because you've been doing everything you need to do. High five. That's what's, uh, sorry. I tried to break my fingers. It's cool. You've done everything you need to do, and because of that, the state of Virginia has recognized that, and you are no longer uh, held by the balls. I'd be off completely if it wasn't for the fact that uh, the last judge I seen made me have to do a mandatory three years of probation. But this is about to be a cakewalk now. You ain't got to report no more. Man. You ain't got to go in no cup no more. You ain't got to go see nobody no more. No nope. little head jerk action with those uh, do theatrics. Nothing. Ain't got to do nothing. How proud Listen. of you? How proud of yourself are you? I'm very proud of myself. I, I never thought I was going to be able to do this. I think that's why I, I had gone so far down the trail that I went was because I, I gave up. I thought that it was too hard. It wasn't, it wasn't an achievable goal. I was playing myself thinking I was ever going to get off probation, ever stop going to jail, ever stop being you know, a piece of crap. But I did all those things. And you're no longer a piece of crap, Dave. I want to be the first to let you know that you no longer are the doo-doo in the in the toilet bowl. The shitbird. That's what they call that's what that's what they call us. Dave, I'm super proud of you. And uh, because of that, I want to do something special for you. Damn right you can buy me a new car. Oh no, I was gonna give you a couch. <laughs> I got a couch. Choose your poison. Browner or brown or ivy. We ain't gonna spend too much time talking about no couches right now. I wanna say I'm really proud of Dave. Dave's done everything he needs to do and because he's no longer on probation, there's a lot of things that you can now do. There are a lot of things I can do. I can leave the state. You can travel. I can travel. You could see the world if you wanted to. Well, I see the world every day. I don't know if you can leave the country though. Getting a passport, I think that's still a... Uh... I think it's, it doesn't, it has nothing to do with our country. It depends on the country that I want to travel to, whether they'll allow it or not. Like, um... Dave, I want to just say, man, you flexing hard with them glasses on, too, man. You know, I wasn't able to wear sunglasses for a while. But you got them contacts. Well, see, I lost the contact this morning. So these are actually prescription sunglasses. Because the time I went into the eye doctor, boy, they gave me a deal. I got contacts and two pairs of glasses for, like, 200 and something dollars, man. Heck yeah. Uh, yeah. And you're not working right now. We need to go ahead and talk about that no, too real quick. Dave got fired and uh, I told you you can't be just... Pulling it out on the job. Yeah, talk about why you're not working right now. They caught me peeing in the parking lot. Mm, can't be peeing in the bottles no more. Yeah. A lot of people do that at the job. It's, that kind of blows my mind. But anyways, I've been dealing with an illness and uh, it's called vertigo. I get dizzy. Uh, kind of out of my body. It's a weird feeling, you know, where you feel like you're, you know, 50 feet in the air or in a long tunnel. Everything looks weird. But I've had some bad trips like that too. It could be from, <laughs> it could be from uh, inner ear infection. One that you can't, I can't even feel it. I don't feel like I have an ear, in, an ear infection, but I could. And because of it, it could be causing, you know, uh, this vertigo. Jellica just drove by. Yeah, seen that. I think he missed the house. Uh, <laughs> no, no, he's turning around. I'm out of work till I go and get a doctor's note, and I got a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So we're gonna get that taken care of. Hopefully, I can be back to work Wednesday. 
Well, speaking of LSD flashbacks, it's good to have Dave back. We don't get a chance to see Dave as often as we would like to because of the fact that he works a lot. But again, real special shout out to you for doing everything. Shout that's... out to you, Joe. Yeah, when yeah. I called you up and said, hey, I got a day. You want to hang out? And Joe was like, hell yeah. Come on over. That's right. That's yeah, right. I am. That's right. Well, we got some exciting things going on today. Um, this guy just showed up. Am what's I fired? What's what in, happened? What's in the back? Oh, boy. Has it been replaced? Yeah, Jellico. Uh, look, I figure there's no better way to do this than to do it on camera. Man. Um, I, could, I knew it was about to happen, man. I knew it was going to happen. Bag? Look, he tells, he's joking about that, but you know he kind of got a, that's kind of a little, a little See, bit. Dave was like, wait, 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 why is Dave back over here? Boy, you should have heard it in his voice when I told him this morning. He was like, what do we do? He, said, he called me. He's like, what are we doing today? I said, well, Dave's coming up. He's like, you can hear that little crack in his voice. What are you doing? What are you doing over there, there? He's already there? How did he even get there? What's that? That says, what is that? Free? Yeah, so. Don't do free. Hold on, Angelica. Hold what on. What's going on, man? Angelica, look, I, uh, I went and picked up Dave this morning. When I picked him up, I noticed this was sitting in front of my house. The neighbors have realized that we are now Sanford and Sons. So hoarders. They're, we're hoarders. So they, they recognize, you know, hey, put it in front of the neighbor's house. They'll pick it up. <laughs> we're, 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 but we're shoot hard. me. Hey, look, man. Clean this sucker up. That's 20 bucks right there. I know. That's a $20 TV stand. Dave, you need a TV stand. No, my TV's hang from the wall. Boy, what old flex Dang. then. I'd be a part of that. Would you? Damn right I would. I would like to do that. Just to be able to go to somebody and the type of person I am, talking, you know, Hey, me, how you doing? I'm Dave from Chicago, and uh, let me tell you, how you should get your koi pot. All right. Well, before you give away all the good, uh, all the gold. So one thing that I wanted to do, Jellico just left. He went to go pick up some tools. We're getting ready to, well, we're getting ready to start a new project here at the house, and we've got a couple of projects going. But this is an important project that we're getting ready to get on. But before we even get to that, I want to talk with Dave, and I want to ask you. Dude, we've had all of these business ideas, right? We started with the cleaning company. Yeah. I shut that down. Then it was the mopeds. That ain't really work out too well. Then it was uh, moving and hauling, and we actually got a moving gig lined up and then trying to cut grass. You know, when you hear all these business ideas, do you think any of them could be successful? I mean, anything can happen. Well, I like that, though. I like that glass half full, though. Oh, yeah. Anything can happen. But it's, oh, it always goes back to the light bulbs, man, when you got ideas, you know? How many, I, I'm how, many, how many times did Thomas Edison, you know, mess up? Oh, I thought you were going to say, how many uh, ex-convicts does it take to screw in a light bulb? Uh, no, that's not what I was going to say. No, and at the end, he wasn't mad that it took him a million tries. He was just found a million ways not to make a light bulb. You know, that was his... Boy, are you on the, uh, the devil's lettuce? Because you were coming with the philosophies this Ooh. morning. You know, they ever tell you about Thomas Edison, though. <laughs> I mean, you keep going. Sooner or later, you're going to find something, man, that you like to do, that's making you money, that's providing for your family, providing for people who are going to be working for you. Needing jobs. Needing jobs. I mean, dude, don't stop. Don't get discouraged. And you haven't, and I love that about you. So, Well, I appreciate the, uh, the, the vote of confidence right there, Dave. And now, I want to move on and share with you guys what's about to happen folks a lot of people have had a lot of things to say about these business ventures and ideas joe the moving company the couches not like people don't think that these are too smart and they're probably right until they become successful and then they're not but with the landscape work or with cutting grass there's a lot of competition for that we went and got the zero term we think we're professional landscapers now or at least professional grass cutters I ran across a mentor, an awesome guy by the name of Paul from down in North Carolina who reached out to me. And this guy has been in some trouble in his past and he's now got a successful landscaping business. He's been doing this for three years and he's doing huge jobs, but he's not cutting grass. And what he told me was, one of the first things that he told me was, Joe, don't try to go out there and cut grass. You got people fighting over $35. That's not a lie. I bid on a job on Friday to go cut a woman's yard. I told her $50 and somebody undercut me for 35 bucks. There's in a lot. Five minutes. Yeah, in five minutes. There's a lot of competition for cutting grass. What Paul is doing, folks, what Paul is doing is this right here. He's doing flower beds and he's, doing, he's making a killing doing this. Now, here are the flower beds at my house. Let me try not to dox myself. These things definitely need a complete overhaul 
So with that, dig that dirt. what better way to see what this type of work is all about than to just do it? I was watching the, the city vehicle pull up. I thought they were coming to cut my power off. I had a $600 power bill, Dave, and I'm trying to buck on that. What did you do? You know, them high-pressure sodium bulbs, man, they take up a lot of juice, boy. I'm kidding about that. What better way to learn how to do flower beds than to do flower our flower bed. beds? Yeah. yeah, than to do flower beds. And then we could possibly go get all of the neighbors' flower beds as well. I mean, yeah, I think it'll be good, man. You see what Paul tells me? He said, Joe, everybody's out there trying to cut grass and the people who are cutting grass, who are cutting a lot of grass, they got a lot of grass to cut. So they ain't gonna be really worried about or trying to do flower beds that could take two to four days to complete. There's more money in this. There's potentially, just a smidgen, potentially a little bit less competition. And if we got some solid before and afters of these flower beds right here, folks, we might, we might just be able to secure us some work. Jellico just left, he went to go get some tools. He's gonna begin this project. Dave's with me today. Hell yeah. What we're getting ready to do is, we're gonna to go to Home Depot, my favorite store that we're yet to be sponsored by. We're gonna to go to Home Depot and we're gonna go price some stuff. Some stuff, we need to price these, these paver stones or these stacker stones right here. Jellico tells me they're very expensive, but we're gonna need more of these. So let's go to Home Depot. Right now? Yeah. Let's go. All right. All right. So it's just me and Dave up in the truck. And we are out looking for mulch prices, paver stones, and, and things of that nature. Trying to get a little accustomed with this. We just went to Home Depot and saw some things there. I imagine that there's other places like nurseries that would have cheaper prices, don't you think? Yeah. And we're just leaving from this location right now, folks. This is a nursery. You guys can see. This place is also a ghost town. There's nothing here. Dave recommended this place. And he tells me that back in the day, this place was booming, right? Yeah. I asked the guy for the price on a yard of mulch. He told me $34 a yard. That doesn't include delivery. Delivery is at least $35. I said, dude, right down the street from my house, there's another place that's got yards of mulch for 20 bucks. And he was not happy when I said that. He said, well, it is what it is. Is that what he said? It is what it is. Oh man, I was like, it looks like you're about to sell this place. He's like, yeah, that's what we hope for. You know a buyer? 40% off plants is what he told me. They don't have any plants in there, really. We're doing a little digging for this lawn care flower bed business. And... Wow, that place. That I think we should go to the place that's right by my house that said $20 a yard. Yeah, why not? Yeah. And we ought to go check on Jellico too. Jellico's probably dying. I hope he's drinking water. That's what I'm You okay? Need some shade, man. You know, I, no shade out front, man. I told Dave, I said, uh, you know, there ain't no breaks in this shit, man. <laughs> I said, if Jellico stopped working, boy, he better be in the hospital. What's going on, man? You all right? Yeah, I'm all right. It's looking good up front. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to show anybody just yet, but we're just getting back from a hell of an adventure, Jellico. Yeah. We went to Home Depot. We went to a bunch of, uh, what do you call them, nurseries. So I got the prices. They're not bad. You go to McDonald's, they got warranties on their plants. I know that's crazy to say, but they have warranties on their plants. No, I, I went to two that were around here, and uh, we went to Home Depot, checked out the paper stone. I looked at equipment. I almost bought a pole saw. I didn't buy nothing. Okay. Because it's the Ryobi, that's good. It's the Ryobi no, and the rain the interchangeable. Oh, the only works. trimmers that they had were electric, and then they had the Echo gas-powered trimmer. That was three hundred dollars. But right? that was three hundred dollars, and I was like, I'm not buying nothing until we absolutely need it. Okay, that's fair enough. So, right on. How okay. you feeling, man? But the, I'm good. I just needed. I, I was overexerting myself a bit. I told you, you know, you was you was in there <laughs> throwing trees in your face and stuff. So Jellico, man, it's 90 degrees out here today, man. Yeah, I didn't realize that. I called my girl, and she was like, you know, it's over, the, the, the index is over 100 today. And I was like, oh, no wonder I feel so hot. We also learned something at the at the nurseries today. It's the end of the season in terms of landscape <laughs> work. Yeah, I know. 
Boy, we got all the right ideas at the wrong time. Somebody yeah, told me. Y'all got any winter plants? Somebody told me they were like, Joe, you got these 1995 business ideas in 2019. <laughs> <laughs> How you gonna start a landscaping business at the end of the summer? Every plant out there is dead. Look at my grass. That stuff is super dead. Let's take a look at what Jellico has done and really got this whole flower bed torn out. That's pretty easy. Pretty easy. But you got to do it. <laughs> That's the thing, man. <laughs> you got to motivate yourself to do it. I'm going to go change and I'm going to come out here and help you. It's 100 degrees outside. Dave, you coming out here? Yeah, I'm waiting on the Lord. You can just, uh, you can film. You can be the cameraman. Dave's the special guest today, so we don't want to get Dave dirty. I told you yesterday if we were going to get dirty to, to let me know. Dirty Dave. Dirty Dave. Dave's the cameraman, folks. It's 90 degrees outside and I've got and, a long sleeve and everything. And Joe decided to go put long pants, boots. It's my first day on the job, boss. First day on the job. Hey, hey, you the boss? Hey, let me tell you about this. Hey, you know that other guy you got? I can get a raise, right? <laughs> hey, excuse me, you the boss? You the boss on this job? I'm the new guy, you came from our labor find. We about, to, we about to watch the new guy fall out with all these clothes on. I'm dressed for the job. I got my steel toe boots on, my jeans, and my long sleeves, and my gloves. I don't want to get no dirt underneath my fingernails. Tell me, what can I do to help you, man? You want me to go get right, another yeah, seat? Yeah, there you go. Pick-ass. Pickaxe around. Other side, other side. Use the other side of the pickaxe. That's fine. Hey, boss, is it lunchtime yet? <laughs> <laughs> Holy God! Always the first question. Hey, uh, just you know, just no for no no specific reason. Just so, uh, what time do we take breaks? <laughs> oh yeah, don't break that. Well, this shovel ain't for that. Did you already break it? It's hot. Yeah, it is. Give me one more on this side. Give me one more on this side and I can pull it. Yep. But we got good sound effects of your breathing. All right. One more pop. Right there. Well, we know the wood is sturdy. Yeah, the wood didn't even break. Okay. Now we know when we hear that weird squeaky noise, that's the metal. So one thing that we've learned, uh, probably gonna need a lot of shovels on this gig. You all right? Yeah. Hot. You want me to get the camera out your face? <laughs> no, <it's all> right. <laughs> like, how you feeling, Joe? Hot. <laughs> Right, huh? <laughs> I go tell them to pick this shit up. <laughs> that ain't no joke right there. A lot of respect to Jellico. What's your name? Jose. Other side. The pointy sides for breaking up stone. That's the sound of a man. That's the side.
Jose? No habla inglés? I can't breathe. Gotta get up in there. Get you some of that. <laughs> this should be our business card. You got bushes? We'll pull them out. Slave labor. We got you. Do you want to not look like me? Hi. I'm Joe Guerrero. Got into this country, don't worry about how, but I'm here to tell you that we'll make it so you don't have to breathe hard. How you feeling, Joe? Cigarette's catching up with me. Well, you're over here, you're sweating like a dog. Literally, you're like spitting and slobbering. Yeah. He's trying not to dig up his front yard. Joe, are you okay? Nah. Landscaping was a great idea, Joe. It is if you own it. <laughs> it is if you own it. You only do it when you're playing around. I'm the owner. I know how to do this. Just give me, a, give me another day. I'll be there. <laughs> hey, call up Craigslist. <laughs> See if we can get some labor. Hello. My name is Joseph Guerrero. My nickname is Manuel, Manuel Labor. That sounds like money. I think I heard some money. You got special bouncing dirt. is not going to make it. Right there, Cody. See, that's all you need is attention. Hold on, hold it forward. Go. Push it forward. Right there, hold that. Pull forward. Got it, pull it. Good. See how much energy that took? Yeah, I was trying to get the yank so I could speed up a little bit and pull the fish out. <laughs> We'd like to thank Cody Look at for all his hard work during this job. Well, it's a good thing that we should charge them by uh, taking out each tree by each bush. Charged by, by yank. Charged by yank. Be charged. Yeah, if, if the first yank, <laughs> the first yank don't go, and we have to back up and then go forward again, that's two yanks. All right, here you go. Here's your camera. All right, somebody call our Craigslist. Somebody get this debris out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Call Get Gone. They can get some of this debris out of here. <laughs> They'll come do it for nothing. <laughs> call them guys with Get Gone. Is that y'all? Yeah. <laughs> That's our company. Get Gone. Get on now. Yep. See, not even any tracks in the yard. All right, 
Well, it's definitely time to wrap up this video. And in doing so, I gotta say that we didn't even get a chance to say goodbye to Dave. Dave just left a couple of minutes ago. We were knee deep in the landscape and it was super good to be able to see Dave today. Dave was able to hang out with us and you know, we don't get a chance to see him as often as possible. So real quick, just really awesome seeing Dave. Special shout out to Dave. People are always saying I'm saying special shout out way too much. But as we wrap this up, I also wanna say a real special shout out to this guy. What up dog? There ain't many people who work as hard as you, Jellico. You were out here. It's 90 plus degrees out here today. I'm I'm soaking wet, and I didn't work nowhere near as hard as you. But look, let's go show off this work that pretty much you did single-handedly up until the end when I I decided to step in, and we got Cody with the truck. <laughs> I told you we needed the truck, but man, we we still got a little bit to do, man. We just got her out. We got a late start. We decided to start in the middle of the day. The hottest part of the, the day. The hottest part of the day. What does it mean? 12:45, and it's 4:45, and we've been that we have been taking a break for 30 minutes. So we, I mean, considering what we got done, I think we did pretty good, man. Well, if you think about it, on day one as the major demo work, this flower bed's a great sign of that. Day two is more cleanup. And then by day three, you're ready to start uh, putting her back together. You want your garden redone? Call up after prison show landscapers and we'll come hook you up if the price is right, the flight's tonight. <laughs> shout out to everybody who took the time to check out this video. Special shout out to Dave and also Jellico. And we'll talk to you guys again real soon. Bitch, I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, depression be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone in progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone in affection, I summon and dub it. Cause bitch, I got problems on problems on problems.